Hello students and friends. I am very happy to be with you virtually today to speak about what we believe is social justice in health development in Rwanda. First, I have to tell you that the country before 1994 was really misled by people who based all their policy and uh, country strategies on segregation and exclusion. Now, with the new Rwanda, there is only Rwanda, and we want to avoid disparities in uh, access to care and also segregation about, uh, based on what you are, you are, gender, age, or anything. So, what we have done in our constitution, in our vision 2020, in our strategy for fighting poverty and economic development, we have written in a rock. Inclusive as a principle and participatory process as a way to go. With that, together, we are doing policies, strategies and plan, not top from bottom, but bottom from top, going back to the bottom, review and going back to the top and we go for consensus. So we have developed policies that are pro-poor, that are pro-development. Developing health is just a piece of a puzzle, and the puzzle is called development of Rwanda. We have a great success in many areas. We have tackled com communicable diseases, with uh, universal access to, uh, to IRVs, with 80% of our population that have access to PMTCT for the women who are pregnant, but also 80% of the companion that go to them, and also 80% of our 450 health centers that can provide the services. But it's not enough, because we are thinking about the 20% that have not. So we are still sensitizing people fully and we are sleepless up to the time we have 100%. For UNAIDS, universal is 80%. For Rwanda, universal is 100%. For doing so, we have also um, uh, health insurance and last year we had 90, uh, almost 98% of Rwanda that have a health insurance with 92% among them that have an insurance that is community-based. Now, with the success we have with communicable disease, we are building a system to give access to non-communicable disease. And for this, we are basing the future care we are going to give for non-communicable disease countrywide on the success and the people we have trained for tackle infectious disease. People in the north have said, those people are crazy, they are too poor to have such a vaccine, but we have made it. 97% so of our girls age 11 are vaccinated against HPV, and we just make it because the population is with the people who are running the health programs, and they are with the doctors when we are planning, so they are fully participate. Never try to do something for others without them. This is also a principle of social justice. So, 
I will invite you to come to see in Rwanda what it is in action because five minutes is too small to tell you all that. Thank you and bye.